I'm currently sitting on my bedroom floor because that's where we all sit all the time, isn't it? Hi, I just whacked myself in the nose. I'm Imogen. Just Imogen, not I just whacked myself in the nose, Imogen. Anyway, currently, it's been snowing here. Uh, we, I live in Kent in England and until today I honestly think that we were the last place in the whole county that had not had snow. Like imagine like we're on the coast like here, like this stop. So the weather's coming up, coming up, coming up, it just went round us. So we finally got some snow and I'd promised myself last weekend that this Sunday I was not going to do anything. And because it's been snow, people have not been going to work, people haven't been going to school, but there's a catch. I'm homeschooled. There's no excuse for me not to be doing school. So I've been doing school and doing other things like getting contact lens checks and glasses checks and ordering contact lenses and spending all my money, basically, because I can't see a thing most of the time. If I'm not wearing these, I'm like half blind, especially in this eye. So... I'm going to be doing some reading this, uh, this weekend. And I'm going to start with the reasonable stuff because my pile is utterly ridiculous. And that is mainly because I've got a load of library books that are due back out that are due back really soon. And I need to... Some of them have not started, so I need to read them to decide whether I need to renew them or return them. But first, starting with a couple of magazines. First we have Womankind... And this one I think is called The Skills of Happiness. This is a this is a really beautiful magazine. I'll just gonna show you a couple of the pages. I picked this up in the WH Smiths where I live. And I thought about getting it before, I hadn't, and I was like, okay, you just get it, it's horrible weather, you need something, like, nice. I'm saying that even though I got this in the post the other day, this is a magazine that I'm subscribed to, ID, that I love, and these are a bit like reading novels, these are massive things. This one here is... 290 pages long. So yeah, and it's it's a big magazine, it's a proper sized magazine. That's why I think I should be able to count these as like reading a book, because they're massive. And then, moving on to books I own that I want to read. I want to finish this. This is Fe Far From Phoenix by Lauren Sessick. I brought this in an independent bookshop in Norwich when I was visiting my grandparents called The Book the Hive. Um, this is translated from the French, I'm going to say from the French by Willard Wood. I am on page 130 of 188 so I could, I could probably finish this this evening. It's really good, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's set in Phoenix in 1962, and I'm loving it so far. And I'm probably never gonna be find, able to find anything else by this author ever. This book isn't even on Goodreads. So yeah, then this I've got to read this evening. This is Catch 22 by Joseph Heller, Heller, Heller. Um, I read it for part of the book club. I'm part of Resende Reads on Instagram. And I have to read to page 227 and I'm on page 140. And this takes me a little while to read. So basically I've got to read I think I've really I've got to try and read to at least 180 tonight to have any chance of finishing for the live stream which is going to be it's either four or five tomorrow I need to check it out then this is one I just bought today V 
the Greek myth stories of the Greek gods and heroes vividly retold by Robin and Catherine Waterfield. I just picked this up at my local bookshop because I'm currently having re-falling in love with Greek mythology. And it's not just Greek mythology, I have always had a, fas a fascination with the ancient world, so ancient Egyptians, Romans, Greeks, anything from that like really far back era. And it's 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 having a resurgence, my love, so I studied classical civilizations at school for a year. I absolutely loved it. It was one of my favourite classes ever. I was so sad that when I moved to schools I could no longer study it. It's a period I'm just absolutely fascinated by, so I'm just going to kind of dip in and out of this one. I've read the first one and I'll probably this is probably a bad start because I'm just gonna want to read more of them. So I'm got my money. Okay. Moving on. So ones I'm currently reading from the library is, as I said, Fascination with a Certain Period of History. This is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I am... How far am I in? I'm... I'm on the page 131 of... 352. I've not read any of this today, I've read the rest of that in the last two days, so I might be able to finish this this weekend. I went to see if my bookshop had a copy of it, but they didn't, which is sad. But, yes, really loving this. She's just got a new book coming out this year, I'm really excited for that. And then, moving on to my other piles of books. Suppose I should kind of sort these out into fiction and non-fiction, which basically means, um, I've got two fiction books. I'm currently in a massive reading of non-fiction but never finishing any non-fiction thing. It's really annoying. So we have Eight White Nights by Andre Asaman. I had to return this to the library because I hadn't read it in time. I really want to have my own copy. That means getting the courage to ask the people at my bookshop to order it in. They're not very good people. I would say I am... On the third... I don't know. I need to find where I am in this. And I need to start reading it again. Because I love this. I really like his writing. And then... The other non-fiction I am currently reading, I am on page, I don't know, this one's not page numbers. This is The Making Of by Brecht Evans. I should pick this up in the non-graphic novel section of my, my library and I really like the colours in it. And all the characters have a different colour. And yes, I'm really enjoying it. Not sure what to make of the story, but it's kind of cool, I like it. And then, the non-fiction-y stuff. Watch me. I suppose it's all kind of social non-fiction. Yeah, it is. What should we start with? This monster of a book, which does not look as monstrous as it is. This is 694 pages. This is by um, Second Hand Time by Svetlana Alexievich. I have got, I was about to say it's over there, but it's not over there because I tightened my books up. It was a really proud moment. And then I bought more books, so they don't fit anymore. Um... Alexievich, that'd be at the top, I can't see it. Oh no, it's over there. Um, the Unwomanly Face of War, by her, which I really enjoyed. So I ordered more of her books from the library, not realising that this is going to be even bigger than The Unwomanly Face of War and have smaller print. So I'm on page 39. I'm really enjoying it, so I just wanted to kind of remind myself that I'd started reading this. 
And then, what do we have? I feel like I should be working in a theme here. Okay, we have this, which is a little tiny baby book, which again, I would, if I set my mind to it, I could finish this this weekend. I'm on page 19. Not very good, just saying this is tiny. I've had for weeks and weeks and weeks. It's only 168 pages. This is Things That... Encounters with Plants, Stars and Animals. Things That Are by Amy Leach. It's a series of essays about the world that we live in and nature. It's really good. And then, where should we go from here? These, the last four have a common theme, and then this is a random one. This is Skywriting by Word of Mouth by John Lennon. Not a fan of the Beatles. Sue me. I'm British, I don't like the Beatles. I'm English even, I don't like the Beatles. But I liked the writing in this I picked up randomly. It's It was in the library in the area that I study in. And then when I get to a point in my studying, I just kind of I browse the shelves in that area. And this is again, really tiny books, it's about 200 pages. And I really like the writing style in it, so I'm gonna try and finish it, read some of it. Um, these are my books on a the theme. We have 16 writers on the decision not to have kids. Selfish, shallow and self-absorbed. Edited and with an introduction by Megan Thorne. This is getting personal. I don't want to have children. I've never wanted to have children. Like I've wondered what this would be about. I think I picked this up for something for the Read Harder Challenge. I can't remember what. Yes, I heard that and thought it would be interesting. It's got really mixed reviews though, so I'll go see what I think. Then we have one that I've actually started. A moment of joy, because it's actually got a decent amount, you can actually, like, there's an amount you can see that's been read. So this Girls Will Be Girls by Ima O'Toole, and I really like the writing in this. I've read the first chapter on page 38, which is a lot further through than with some of these. It's like twice as far through. Again, this is about gender and girls and what is expected of us. And that's something I'm interested in, and I've become more and more interested in. And as I said, we've got a theme, Pink Brain, Blue Brain, How Small Differences Grow Into Troublesome Gaps and What We Can Do About It by Lise Elliott. And I've never even opened this one. Oh, the writing is quite little. This, this looks like it might be a bit more academic than I thought it would be. Oh, well, I'm going to give it a try. And actually, if you can gain, it's about the differences between girls and boys and how we make them bigger than they actually are. By the way we treat them. And then we have The Gender Games by Juno Dawson. The problem with men and women from someone who's been both. I saw this all over booktube, all over booktube. And I was really interested in it. And again it fits into my theme here of gender and social expectations and norms and all of that good stuff. But Apparently I'm interested in at the moment. Like it's sciencey stuff, but not the type of science that I normally go for. So yes, I'll report back at the end, see if I've read anything. I was going to make this into a vlog, but it's like, it's going to be more than 10 minutes long, just as it is. So, I'm going to go make a start because why ever not? And then I was thinking I was going to film a haul tomorrow, so you might see that one first. Because I've actually bought a, like, a decent number of books. I rarely buy books. So I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. If you liked, please comment, like, subscribe. I love it. I get like no none of that on my channel because I'm like barely anything. And I'm back on it. I've posted every week in January. Failed at February completely but I'm not surprised because I didn't have time, I didn't have space in my brain for anything. And we're back on it, it's March. We're going to make a success of this YouTube-y thing, my bobby, this thing. I also think I've got a video that I edited but I never put up. 
So I might try and find that and put that up as well. So yes, I'm going to go and cram my brain full of words because what else would you want to do? I'm trying not to get distracted. I'm so distracted at the moment. My brain's like... Mm -hmm. Yes, what were you meant to be doing, Imogen? Not what you're doing right now. Let's try and read. Minus distractions. Do you like my onesie? This one. Oh, in my onesie. Ready to curl up in bed with some books. Oh, that was like... Oh. Yawn. Might be bedtime. 